Welcome everyone to Ocean City, Maryland and happy Easter weekend to everyone. I thought we could head on down to the inlet and I'll go over the new parking rates that are going to go into effect and well first though I thought on the way we could do a little cruising field report and we'll check out some of the new construction projects etc going into town and right here on the right you can see this is the Sanibel Seas and it's right beside the uptown transit station at 145th Street and so this is going to be on looks like two city blocks well, we're on 144, and see, just to the left of us, they've already got some of these townhomes already built, at least for the most part. And now they're starting to work on the other side. So this is going to be a pretty, a little bit ritzy. It's going to be up around, uh, oh, 600,000s, I think, just to get yourself a key so that's what's going on up here and well we'll just cruise on down coastal highway and i'll try to point out some other projects and maybe on the way i'll mention a few other events that are coming up this spring and well the first one would be spring fest and this year that's going to be held from may 2nd to may 5th and so, yeah, now we know that Cinco de Mayo is on Sunday this year. So, a little extra party time there on the last day of Spring Fest. So, we're just passing Roses, and some of you may have seen the uh, video we shot for the old five and dime type department store because it is closing and it's going to be torn down and they uh, are going to apparently build a new Acme where the old Roses is right now and so I guess they're probably going to demolish the old supermarket and of course that supermarket used to be a super fresh you know what, I just thought of one other thing. I said that Spring Fest was the first event, but I want to mention one more, actually the week before uh, Spring Fest, and that's the Maryland International Kite Exposition, and that's a really fun uh, event to come see, and this would be perfect weather, and that's going to be from April 26th through the 28th. On the bay side of 65th Street, construction for the new fire station is coming along nicely. And it should be finished by sometime this year in 2024. And it'll be part of the public safety complex there right at 65th Street. And I mean, that's just otherwise known as the police station. So let's go over one more thing. Let's see what's up next. We've got Jeep Week. And we're going to have two uh, Jeep Weeks this year. The first one is just going to be called that, Jeep Week. And it's going to be from May 9th to May 12th. And there is going to be another one in August, but I guess this one was, uh, I guess, you know, it, I guess the Jeeps have grown enough in popularity that they can uh, get two weeks. For you miniature golfing fans, you're going to get a new 18-hole track up here on 21st Street at Nick's Mini Golf, and they're also going to include this amusement-type uh, sky ride. So, that looks pretty cool, and right here on the right, that's where it used to be, so it's just moved away, and they're just uh, giving the downtown location a fresh look. Now, let's 
cruise over here a couple lanes because I want to turn on 16th Street and we're going to check out a big building that's being constru uh, constructed between Baltimore Avenue and Philadelphia Avenue. Uh, it looks like I can't do a U-turn here at 15th Street. So I'll have to go all the way down to 12th Street. That's okay. That's what we're going to do. So this is a big, a big building. And I actually don't know what it is yet. I'm not sure if it's just a massive condominium. That's what I think it is. I think it's too big for even a big hotel. Maybe somebody knows it out there. I've been trying to find out. I've been re, uh, researching, what is it, Microsoft Copilot, uh, Google's AI Gemini. Uh, Gemini. And I mean, I've been searching it, and I can't find any information on it. So I might just have to do the old-fashioned way and get a coastal dispatch every week and hope I get an article or just go down to City Hall. Anyway, it's right beside Pappy's Taco Joint here on 16th Street and here it is. And you can see this is going to be a big building. I'd like to know how tall it's going to be, how many units it's going to be, and see it's right across from the Hyatt place. So, hopefully we can find out. Maybe one of you out there uh, knows what this is going to be. So, let me double back around. And, and here's some uh, cars. You know what? They have been doing some road construction here on Baltimore Avenue. They've been doing a paving project. And looks like the crew has the holiday weekend off. Well, good for them. Alright, we'll pick it up back after I turn back around. So I'm going to turn left here on 21st Street, and right here on the left, this is the old Phillips uh, restaurant. That was on 21st Street, and then for one year, uh, Chesapeake Union Seafood gave it a go but they weren't able to make it. And so, this old building, though, is going to be part of the uh, dormitories for some of the foreign uh, students that come here in the summertime. So this will be J1 student housing here in the old Phillips 21st Street building. Let's pop on over to St. Louis Avenue here on 17th Street and see if anything new is going on over here because I don't think there's really anything else for me to talk about on Coastal Highway until we would get down close to the inlet. But I will say, hey look, we're cruising, so let's cover the cruise in Ocean City car show and that's going to be on from May 16th through May 19th and that's going to be the biggest uh, spring event I would think other than Spring Fest actually I think it's bigger than Spring Fest here we got a little more construction project and, well, which street was that on? Was that about 12th Street? Let's see. So they do this a lot in the off-season. They do the infrastructure repair. So that was 13th Street. And now we're on 12th Street. You know what? Let's just keep it rolling here on the camera. Because we're going to be coming up here on the downtown... Uh, 3rd to 4th Street Park and things are coming along really cool down here. Things are really 
starting to take shape. And it's going to be on both sides of the street. Uh, it's going to be a completely renovated park. We're on 7th Street. We're coming up on 6th Street. So, yeah, I'll just keep running my mouth here for a minute. Because we're almost there. Oh, look at this. I already got the playground up. Check this out. So the sign says coming summer 2024 and definitely. Look at that. They got the playground. They've got more fencing to put up. They've got the sod in place. They've got a walking path. They've got some trees. And so that's just on the bay side. Because it's going to be on both sides of St. Louis Avenue. And how many people have been on this little road? This is Edgewater Avenue. Yeah, this is a cool little road. And when you're really pinched in the summertime for parking, because we're going to cover parking here. Well, we'll do a separate video for that. But when you're really, really pinched in the summertime and you need a place to park and you're looking for a free spot you just might be able to find one on Edgewater Avenue I know I've parked there many a time for stuff like the air show now up here on the left you got the other side of the park and this was a couple months behind the right side but they're working over here and they're going to have some new tennis courts they're going to update the skate park. Looks like I see some new basketball courts and rims. Yeah, so we're going to have a really cool downtown park. Let's just check out a couple more things downtown. And... The first one, we're going to be on the back side of a new condominium. And if you're curious, we're on Dayton Lane. And Dayton Lane is between Philadelphia Avenue and St. Louis Avenue. And up here on the left, that's the uh, Mendez Construction Crew. And that's going to be a new condominium. Let me see if I can get around here. Yep, we made it around. So I should be able to just hang a right onto North Division. And then... We're going to go under the bridge. Yeah. How many people have... Going under the bridge. Oh, look. We got a boat going up. Going uh, heading north through the draw. They didn't need an opening. Oh, looks like we got some construction here at the Angler. Getting ready for next season. And this winds around. Now we're back on St. Louis again. I'll just show you one more thing and then we're going to cruise down to the inlet. Actually, we got a bonus baby here at the White Marlin Condominium. Looks like they're getting a facelift too. We're going to make a left onto Baltimore Avenue, but look up ahead. Hey, they got the carriages on the big Ferris wheel at the uh, Jolly Roger Amusement Park. Jolly Roger at the pier. And I think this is the last segment before we head down to the 
inlet. Uh, yeah, and on the right, there's the bank of o Ocean City, the old bank of Ocean City building, and that's going to become part of the Life Saving Museum. And right up here on, uh, it should be Talbot Street. Yeah, we're going to get a new condominium here. I don't know, that's getting pretty tall already. I don't know how tall that's going to be. I don't know what that was zoned for. All right, let's hang a left here on to Caroline Street. This is always another nifty little street that maybe you can find a premium free parking spot. So let's make a left back on to Philadelphia Avenue. And while we head down to the inlet, I'll mention one more event for this spring. And that's going to be the offshore powerboat races. And that's going to be from June 7th through June 9th. So that takes us through the spring, I think. Certainly takes us to the equinox. And we'll shoot another video in a few months and we'll cover the summer events. All right, thanks for watching. And like I said, we're going to pick it up down here at the inlet and cover this year's parking rates. All right, have a great day, everybody.